Hi, welcome to Blockholic. This a video is a 10 part series of my blockchain basics tutorial. So if you have not watched my earlier videos, the links are entered in the description. Just go ahead and watch those videos. In this video, we are going to see what a blockchain 1.0 is, 2.0 is and 3.0 is. I'm going to explain this in a very simple way. Uh, any person who don't have a, a technical knowledge can able to understand it. Let's get started. So the blockchain 1.0 is the Bitcoin. That is the first blockchain application which has come into the world of blockchain. Here in that point of time blockchain 1.0 here we are exchanging the value. That means we are trading the value in the form of a currency. So it is called as a cryptocurrency. In the Bitcoin, you can be able to transfer the money from one person to another person. Here, we don't call it as a money. We call it as a currency, a digital currency from one person to another person without involving any third party. That means in a decentralized way. And that is, a, that is all about a blockchain 1.0 at very high level. And now it is time for blockchain 2.0. And here is the time when ethereum has come into the market ethereum is also one of the blockchain network after bitcoin but here the difference between 1.0 and 2.0 is that in blockchain 1.0 you can be able to exchange only the values that means only the numbers only the currencies in blockchain 2.0 apart from exchanging the values we have there is a concept called smart contracts that means you can be able to make a contract between two people and you can be able to perform the transactions with it that means it is not only about a currency you can also do many more things with ethereum you can be able to write your own smart contract and you can be able to perform almost any kind of a transactions that is all about block point, blockchain 2.0. Now we have a blockchain 3.0. What blockchain 3.0 is like if you observe in a blockchain 1.0 the transaction for mining a block will take around 10 minutes. That is a huge time right? But if you compare it to the normal banking system in order to transfer the money this is quite fast. Let's say you want to transfer the money from United States to India or India to Germany or Germany to Brazil. So the transaction time between these two things are literally scary because it's going to take a hell lot of time if you go through the process of the bank. If you go to the bank, they will ask so many documents like why do you want to transfer the money and then after you're depositing the money, they will send it to the other bank and all blah 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 stuff. This will take minimum two to three days in order to do a transaction but if you compare that with the blockchain 1.0 which is a bitcoin it is much faster right that is the reason that the blockchain is takes 1.0 and it is that is the um, that is the one big problem which is solved and that is what it is one of the biggest achievement of this century and if you observe 10 minutes is quite a bit time right so what happens is that after that blockchain 2.0 has come in the blockchain 2.0 what happens the transaction time from 10 minutes to it reduced to 13 to 14 seconds oh it's so fast right of course it is fast but if you are building an enterprise applications let's say an application of a supply chain or maybe certificate issuance or uh, digital marketing or any application which is on built on blockchain if it is taking 13 seconds that is little quite long time right so in blockchain 3.0 what they have done they have reduced the time they you here you can be able to build your own private blockchain networks and you can be able to do any kind of an applications and there is a good concept of scalability you can be able to scale the blockchain application there is a hell lot of features which is coming in or which is already available in blockchain 3.0 that's all for this video if you like my video please comment below if you haven't subscribed yet do it now thanks for watching